Good day everyone! Welcome to our new video lesson in mathematics and the modern world. For this video, we will discuss the validity of an argument. Last video, diniscuss natin yung... In our last video lesson, we've discussed about the argument in symbolic form. So for this video, we will have the conclusion. We will determine if the conclusion of an argument is valid or invalid. Okay, so arguments validity. So example number one, we have our argument. So if P, then Q, and P, therefore Q. So in symbolic form, that will be written as if P, then Q, and P, therefore Q. So we will just determine if the given argument is valid or invalid. Okay, kaya lang, medyo mabusisi yung proseso kasi gagamit tayo ng truth table. So, ito yung unang dalawang truth table na gagamitin natin. So, we have the if-then truth table. In our if-then truth table, so if both are true, if both of the premises are true, so the conclusion is true, then if P is true, Q is false, the conclusion is false. Then if P is false, Q is true, the conclusion is true. If both are false, so that is true. So, ang dapat nating tandaan dito, uh, yung true or false. If P is T and Q is F, automatically the if then is false. And then the rest, puro true naman na siya. Ang second truth table na kailangan natin ay ang ating conjunction truth table. So, ito ay binabasa na P and Q. So, dito naman, ang tatandaan lang natin dito, basta meron tayong letter F in one of the proposition, automatically, ang ating conjunction is F or false. So, magiging true lang siya if both propositions are true. So, T, P is T, Q is T. So, P and Q is true. Okay, then example number one. So, babalikan natin sa example number one. So, i-validate natin si ating argument if the argument is valid or not. So, ang unang gagawin, kailangan natin gawa ng truth table having this column. So, meron tayong column ng P, column ng Q, column ng if, P, then Q, if, P, then Q, and P. Then, we have the argument if, P, then Q, and P, therefore, Q. Para ma-fill out natin yung third column natin, if, P, then Q. So, kailangan silipin natin yung ating if, then, truth table. Kung si P ay true, si Q ay true, so automatically our if then is true. Kung si P ay true, then si Q ay false. So ito yon true and false. So our if then is false. If P is false, then Q is true. We have here true. If so both proposition are false, so our if then proposition is true. So, ito na ngayon. So, for the fourth column naman. So, yung ating if P then Q will be represented by the third column which is if P then Q. So, dun tayo titingin. And then, the conjunction. We have the conjunction symbol. Then, yung P natin, dun tayo titingin sa P column. So, yan ang titingnan natin yung third column and first column. Unang titingnan yung third, pangalawang titingnan yung first. Huwag nyo kakalimutan yan ha. So, ang unang titingnan natin is the if then. Then, susundan natin yung P, yung pangalawang titingnan. And then, magpapalit tayo ng truth table. Igagamitin natin ay conjunction truth table. So, yung ating P column sa ating truth table will be represented by if P, then Q. Then, yung ating Q table will be represented by P. And then, yung ating third column will be represented by the if P, then Q. And P. So, yun yung magiging answer natin sa bakanting column na to na fourth column. Okay, so let's check. So, ang sabi natin, basta may nakita tayong false automatically, the result will be false. So, yung una ay true and true. So, we have true. Pangalawa ay false and true. So, we have false. True and false. We have false also. True and false. We have false. Basta may nakita tayong letter F automatically sa ating conjunction, that will be false. 
So, yung una lang yung magtuturo sa kanya. Kasi true and true tayo. And then, dun sa last column naman natin, dun sa ating argument. So, ito na yung argument natin. Kaya lang, bago tayo makarating sa argument, kailangan mo natin ma-fill out yung mga preceding column. So, this is our argument. So, yung ating if P, then Q, and P, ay kukuhanin natin dito sa third column natin. So, therefore, yung P column natin will be represented by if P, then Q, and P. Then, yung Q column natin, o yung ating Q, will be taken from the Q column. So, yung Q natin, Q pa rin yan. And then, ang resulting natin, ang resulting conclusion natin will be the if P, then Q, and P, therefore, Q. So, unang titingnan yung column na to, itong fourth column, pangalawang titingnan yung second column. So, ito ay if then, kaya we need to test the validity. So, kung true and true, ayun yung true and true, so that is true. If false and false, so ito yung false and false natin, so that will be true also. If false and true, so ito yung false and true, yung pangatlo, false and true, so we have also true. And then false and false, we have also true true. So, the resulting conclusions are, are all true. So, ang tawag natin pag lahat ay true, tinatawag natin siyang tautology. So, tautology is a statement that is necessarily true under any interpretation. So, lahat ng naging conclusion natin ay true. Kaya tinatawag na tautology. Pag mayroong isang false yan, hindi na siya tautology. Okay? So, ngayon, sa madalit salita, pag lahat yan ay true, we will consider the argument to be Valid. So, the argument is valid. So, magiging valid lang siya if all the conclusion in our last column will be true. Kung merong isang false na nasingit dyan, the argument will be invalid. But for this example, meron tayong valid argument. So, ang example number one natin, which is if P then Q and P therefore Q is a valid argument. Okay, example number two. So, let's have the symbolic form of the given argument. So, if P, then Q, and Q, therefore P. Merong nabago dito ha. Dito kamukha na example number one. So, ito, and Q, therefore P. So, we will determine if the given argument is valid or not. And to answer this example, so again, we need to have our truth table. So, Meron tong difference sa number 1. So, ang ating naging conjunction dito will be if P, then Q, and Q. Then, ang ating arguments will be therefore P. Yan yung nabago dyan. Okay, so first thing to do, kailangan natin ng if, then, truth table para ma-determine natin yung ating given P and Q to be true or false. So, ito yung if, then, truth table natin. So, if that is true and true, so we have here if P, then Q is true. If we have true and false, so tingnan natin dito, true and false, so that will be false. False and true, so ito yung false and true, so that will be true. Then false and false, ito yung false and false natin, and that will be true also. Then for the if P, then Q, and Q, so yung if P, then Q natin, ititignan natin from the third column. Yan, ilagyan natin ng box para wag tayong malito. Then, yung ating NQ will be taken from the Q column. So, Q column. Yan ang matandaan dito. So, Q column. And then, magpapalit tayo ng truth table natin. Gagamit tayo ng conjunction truth table. Okay, so yung ating if P then Q will be represented by the first column in our conjunction truth table. Then, our Q will be the second proposition under our truth table then we have the resulting uh, conclusion we have if P then Q and Q so para madali hanapin natin yung merong false dun sa ating given uh, propositions so pag merong false automatically false na yun. so true and true we have true false and false we have false true and true we have true true and false we have false also okay last column we have if P, then Q, and Q, therefore P. Yung ating if statement will be taken from the fourth column. So, that will be if P, then Q, and Q. So, yung ating letter P dito sa ating if, then truth table will be represented by if P, then Q, and Q. 
Then yung ating then statement, which is P. So, will be taken from the P column. So, yung ating if P then Q will be our conclusion. So, we have true and true. So, tingin doon sa ating true table, true and true. So, the answer is true. False and true. Tingin sa true table, false and true. So, we have true also. Then, true and false. True and false. So, again, unang tinitingnan itong if P then Q and Q. Pangalawang tinitingnan yung P. So, true and false. So, we have true, false. So, we have here false. And then, false and false. So, we have F and F. We have here true. So, dahil nasingitan tayo ng isang false statement, ang ating resulting conclusion is not a tautology. Kasi inconsistent. Eh. Hindi naman siya lahat true. Kaya, not a tautology siya. If that will be the case, our argument will be invalid. So, the argument is invalid. Bakit invalid? Merong nasingit na isang false. Kaya siya considered to be invalid. Okay, so example number two. Lagyan natin yung ating answer. So, arguments validity. So, the argument is invalid. So, if P, then Q, and Q, therefore P. Example number three. So, we have here... Our argument, so if R, then S, and not S, therefore R. So, nagkaroon tayo ng negation symbol dito. So, lipat natin ang symbolic form. Ipo-format lang naman natin yan. So, if R, then S, and not S, therefore R. So, we will test the validity of this given argument. Okay, so again, so ang ating unang gagawin, magamuha tayo ng ating truth table. So we have the column of R, the column of S, column of if R then S. Column ng if R then S and not S. Then we have the column of if R then S and not S, therefore R. And so, ang ating first reference will be the if then truth table. So, ang ating letter P dito will be our letter R. Ang ating letter Q will be our letter S. So, yung ating if P then Q will be if R then S. So, we have true true. So, we have here true. True and false. We have here false. False true. We have true. False false. We have true. Based on our truth table. And then for the next column, yung if R then S natin will be in reference with the third column. If R then S. So, ito na siya. Then yung ating letter Q will be represented by not S. So, kaya lang wala tayong not S. So, kailangan nating magdagdag ng not S. Okay, so kukunin natin ang negation ng S. Magdadagdag tayo ng not S to sa tabi ng S natin. So, kung ang ating S ay true, ang not S, false. Siyempre, yung negation niya, yung kabaliktaran niya sa true or false. If our S is false, the not S will be true. If our S is true, the negation is false. And from, from false, it will become true. So, yun yung nadagdag. Ito ang gagamitin natin for the not S. Or the negation of S. So, yung ating letter Q will be represented by not S. Okay, conjunction to. Hanapin mo lang yung merong false. So, itong gitna, saka yung pangalawa. Pangalawa, pangatlo, meron siyang false. So, automatically, false yung dalawa na yun. Ah, pati pala yung una. So, yung number one, conjunction. Number two, conjunction. And the third conjunction will all be false. So, magtutro lang dyan yung pang-apat lang. Applicable lang yon sa conjunction through table. Ha? So, conjunction through table, basta merong isang false, automatically false yung conjunction natin. So, false, 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 true. Then, for the last column, okay, doon na sa conclusion natin. So, yung if R then S and not S, so will be referred to the fourth column. Dito na siya manggagaling. Kaya nga dapat pag sinil out natin yung ating truth table column, kailangan sunod-sunod. So bagay, hindi naman siya mapifill out kapag ka mauuna yung sa dulo. So it should be in order. 
Okay, then ang ating letter R, so will be taken from the R column. So yung ating letter Q will be our letter R. Yung ating letter P, so will be the fourth column. So if R then S and not S. So yung ating conclusion, if R then S and not S, therefore R. So, ito yung unang titingnan yung column na to. Pangalawang titingnan yung column ng R. So, false, true. Yung number 2, false, true din. So, pagsabayin natin, yung number 1, false, true. Yung number 2, false and true. So, ang ating false, true ay true. Pangatlo, false, false. So, ang false, false ay true also. Pangapat, true, false. So, ito yung true, false. So, if that is true, false, the if-then conclusion will be false. So, again, the answer is not a tautology because meron tayong isang false na nasingit. So, the argument will be invalid. So, the argument is invalid. Example number four, we have if M, then not K, and not M, therefore K. So, dalawa yung nat-nat natin, kaya alam nyo na, kamukha sa example number 3, meron tayong dalawang column na idadagdag, the nat K and the nat M. So, they will be the negation of the original proposition K and M. So, anong unang gagawin? Kailangan natin ng truth table. So, napansin ninyo, kung dahil meron akong iniintay na nat K sa ka nat M, Automatically, inusod ko na yung M ko dun sa bandang kaliwa para pwede kong isingit yung not M dito. Then, yung not K ko, ganun din, inusod ko na yung K para yung not K maitabi ko dito. Iibahin na lang natin yung kulay para madali siyang ma-identify. So, if M then not K, so kailangan natin ng if then statement. So, ang ating letter P will be represented by M, ang ating letter Q will be represented by not K, pero wala tayong not K dito, so dadag tayo ng not K column. So, ito yung not K natin. So, ang true, kung, kung true yung K, ang not K niya ay false, false, it will become true, true, it will become false, false, it will become true. So, yung not K column natin will be taken from this column. So, ang ating if P then Q will be represented by if M then not K. Okay, so now we have true and false. So, yung ating M ay true, ang ating not K ay false. So, true and false, we have a conclusion of false. Then, true and true. So, kung magkamukha true and true, we have here true. False and false. So, yun yung false and false sa baba. So, we have true also. Then, false and true. Ito yung false and true. Yung pangatlo. So, false and true. The answer is true. So, meron tayong isang false sa taas. Okay. And then, for our fourth column, if M, then not K, and not M. So, we will make use of the conjunction through table. Kasi conjunction yung ating type of proposition here. So, we have here, if M, then not K. So, it will be, it will replace letter P. Then, yung ating Q will be replaced by not M. So, ito na yung una natin. So, if M, then not K. So, it will be taken from the third column. Then, yung not M natin, kailangan natin kumuha ng not M. So, wala pa tayong not M dito. So, ito yung ating not M. So, that will be the negation of the original M column. So, true, true. That will be false, false. False, false. That will be true, true. Then, yung ating P and Q will be if M, then not K and not M. So, ang titingnan natin dito, itong column ng if M, then not K, ang pangalawang titingnan yung not M. So, false, false. Ang answer natin ay false. True, false. So, that will be false also. True, true. That will be true. And true, true. That will be true. And for the conclusion now, for the last column, so magpapalitan naman tayo ng if-then table, if-then truth table. So yung ating letter P will be represented by if M, then not K, and not M. Then ang ating Q will be represented by K. Okay, so ito yung ating if M, then not K, and not M. Then, ito naman yung ating K. So, yung dalawang may box dito. So, we have false and true. So, ang false and true natin will result to a true conclusion. 
false and false so that will be true also true and true that will be true also and true and false so ito yon true and false makakaroon tayo ng isang letter f so therefore kung merong masingit na letter f the argument is invalid so we have here if m then not k and not m therefore k is invalid and then for the practice exercise regarding the topic arguments validity so we will have example number five so ito ay practice problem na ninyo you will determine if the argument is valid or invalid so gawa kayo ng truth table sa mga notebooks nyo and then comment if the argument is valid or not in our comment box. And that will be all for this video lesson. So, see you on the next video. Have a nice day.